I'm just moving. There's not enough room. Uh, the that was you. It's like, did something fall? No. It's <laughs> hand. The Super Bowl happened the other day, and the I re- happened. The soup happened. We ate wings, and so it inspired me to make more wings. So once again, the food made here is gonna be vegan. So what are we making? Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to make uh, a spinach artichoke dip following a very similar recipe to the one that we made for the mozzarella cheese. And then I'm gonna be making cauliflower wings and potato wedges. Potates, if you will. Potates. Potates, okay. if you will. What okay. This? What is, what are you touching? There's a dark mark on your neck. What oh yeah, I, there, if you look, there's like three marks right here. It's from one time, um, I, so I used to have a metal allergy and I ended up breaking out really, really bad from a necklace. And it like blistered and scabbed all around my neck. So now I have permanent dark spots. Okay, I thought it was from Neil. Anyway, go on. <laughs> no, those would be like obviously red hickeys, not dark spots. <laughs> Where am I gonna start? I'm gonna start oh. by draining artichoke hearts. That's right, you're not following the recipe at all. Nope. <laughs> we winged it. <laughs> Wings. <laughs> I thought, I thought you said wee wee. <laughs> no, I said we winging it. But this would be better if we were making the cauliflower wings and we're not. And now I'm sad. We're I'm making winging. them next. Yeah, but I can't say we're winging it for the long wings. I'll save that for later. Go on. We're going to dip. <laughs> I'm dipping. I'm going to take all the spinach. Do you need all the... No, you okay, can take so it off. Okay. Take it off. There's a proper way I know how to do this, but uh, fuck it. Mmm, beautiful. Because Technique! Squidward! Squidward! Technique! Technique! That's what's gonna make me <laughs> fucking cut my fingers. I'm just gonna finger the jar. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> so if you didn't know, I'm kind of chaotic <laughs> sometimes. Technique! Technique! Oh my god, I thought the knife just came out of my peripheral. I, I put my arm here so it wouldn't, it's... Knife! Knife! Door! Door. <gasps> Give me an artichoke. Ghost pepper. Give me an artichoke. <laughs> Finger that jar. Woo! Okay. Can I have one Sam's ghost pepper? Sam. Um. <laughs> Can I have a Sam's? <laughs> Cheers. Wow. Mm. Ooh, that's good. I like that. So now what I'm gonna do is kind of follow. <laughs> Ew, the way you're draining that tofu, it's like it peed on you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's not venti. I wouldn't allow it. Venti likes piss. We'll talk about what you do. <laughs> I'm opening the tofu. Opening the tofu. <laughs> I'm going to crumble in the tofu. I'm going to add some oat milk, some nooch. Ew! Oh, that was a lot more nooch than I intended. Nooch the gooch. Oh no. Ew! <laughs> it's better than nooch the cooch. Ah, is it really though? Is it? Yeah, because the, the gooch is not an open word. <laughs> gooch is another word for taint, right? Yes. yes. All right. Oh. Why is so much closer to the asshole? Yeah, but... <laughs> If you just poke really hard. <laughs> I'm now adding, hold on. I need a spoon. Um, this is a teaspoon of garlic powder. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. What is a recipe? I do not know. Like last time, it's the salt that makes it. I'm only gonna do a teaspoon of salt. Add more later, maybe if I need to. Lemon. Ew! Don't say that when I say it. <laughs> one. We just both went lemon. No, I said one. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's why I was so confused. I'm like, am I not allowed to count? Lemon. <laughs> no counting in my house. That's disgusting. <laughs> That's why I was so confused. That was two teaspoons of lemon juice. Unacceptable! I can't do it. Ew. 
I sound like <laughs> lemon <laughs> lemon garb if he was a teenage boy. Lemon garb? It's, isn't it lemon grab? It is. But <laughs> I've always messed it up. Was, I've always messed it up. And you know what? I've committed. I have committed. <laughs> to lemon garb. It is lemon garb. He's coming lemon garb. Lemon <laughs> grab is my father. <laughs> So I put in a teaspoon of onion powder, kind of, maybe, not really a teaspoon, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Measure with your heart. That's exactly. exactly. Stop! Mmm, tapioca. One. I'm gonna do two. Because it's not like what we're gonna need for the way that we did the, the, the mozzarella. So it won't, be ne it won't need to congeal as much. I like that word. Congeal. Congeal. Coagulate. <gasps> I was about to say coagulated. my favorite beat. <laughs> stick your tongue in that. No, no, other people are eating it. You said stick my tongue in it. I didn't think you would. <laughs> I know who you are, so I should have known better. I'm used to my stove. I was like, where's the little knobbies? <laughs> Show you a little knobby. No, I no. insulted myself. No. <laughs> Putting this on a medium high heat. Master has given knobby a sauce. Ew. Master has knobby given me a knobby. knobby. No. How dare you talk about Dobby's not? So, no. um, because I'm lazy as fuck, I found this in the frozen food section. It is <sighs> onion that's already been diced Hell yeah. and oil and sauteed, and it's in little cubes. I didn't know that was a thing. There's also there's also Wait, garlic. Show this that. Is, this Let's is from this is from Target. And so like it's it's already sauteed with oil and salt and it's diced. And this way, if you just want to use a what the fuck with your glasses. Don't worry about it. A little bit. Larry's taking over. What is this? Oh, you're sauteing the frozen shit. Yeah, it's already technically sauteed, so it doesn't take much. Um I just added so I have some minced garlic, it's dehydrated. So I'm adding that. You okay? Yeah, did you not see the No I didn't. Oh I saw. <laughs> okay. All right. So now that this is already nice and going, I'm gonna add our spinach and artichoke to saute. So now we're gonna let this saute for a little bit. <laughs> shake a shake a. I'm gonna take some of this now that it's cooked down and just plop it into our dip to blend it. And the rest of this, like, there's not a whole bunch, but I'm gonna keep the rest of it in there. Um, I just took it off that, even though the heat's still on, I'm gonna lower that really quick. And I'm gonna blend this together now, and then I'm gonna pour the rest of this into that. And then, taste as I see fit. Yay! Do a little bit at a time, I can do all of it at one go. And then if I need to, I'll add, clearly, some more tapioca starch to thicken it, but already this looks like it's, it's thickening pretty well. So I went ahead and I poured all the rest of what was in the, uh, the blender into here and it's starting to get a little bit thicker. I just did a quick little taste test. Felt like it needed some more garlic powder, which we just added. I'm gonna add some more lemon juice so it's a little tangy. And then whenever that's done, uh, we're pouring it into this, I have this glass dish that's heat resistant, so it's perfectly good fine. And so then we can snack on that with chips while we wait for the wings and everything else. That was very good. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna turn this off. Yeah. We're gonna pour it into here. We're gonna bake it. So here we go. Don't turn it back now. <laughs> so we, we're we gonna cut the video and then come back when I've set up to get ready to make the wings and whenever the dip comes out, so. I'm gonna start for five minutes and just go <laughs> from there. Okay. Okay, what's up? All right, so Todd's Spinach and artichoke dip is gonna be in the oven for a little bit. I'm gonna put literally in the description a breakdown of what he did in case you wanna make it. So now I'm starting on the cauliflower wings. So the very first step I'm doing is I'm gonna make a lot of wings because there's some people here. I have two heads of cauliflower here. I don't know a super efficient way to cut it. So what I'm gonna be doing is literally tearing off the stems blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna be doing that. And then since this is gonna be kind of time consuming, because cauliflower likes to get real messy. You like touch a piece and it crumbles and gets everywhere, just like sand. 
Uh, so I'm gonna be doing that off camera. So yeah, I'm tearing off the stems of this thing, and then I'm gonna be taking my knife on my cutting board and cutting it into quarters and cutting off the stems. Because to make the wings, you just want a chunk, maybe like that big or so that you can do. So it really depends on what kind of head of cauliflower you do. So I'm gonna be doing that off camera and then we'll come back when my cutting board is full of cauliflower pieces. All right, so we got chips. My dip has been done for a little bit. It's cooling down. Uh, so one, uh, we I switched it from the pre-bake to broil. So if you remember last time we did some broiling um, for the pizzas, right? And that like does this hot heat. It's almost like taking a blowtorch to it. So if you come closer. <laughs> you can see this beautiful skin that's on top. I, if it were real cheese, it would have that sugar would have caramelized, and we would have those nice bubbly brown spots. But since it's tofu, it's not going to bubble and brown. But look, it has a nice skin. So this is how you know when you touch it like this, and you pat it, <laughs> that it doesn't d do that. So, uh, but I do have. <laughs> I'm going to take a scoop. These are tea chips. Smell good. Get some. Come on. And camera person can get some. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. Ooh, Ooh, look at this. Look it at is that. nice and steamy. Mm. It actually came I'm out messing. really good. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy with how that came out. Considering I've never made this version All before. Right. Go camera person. <laughs> mm. I'm double dipping. Go right ahead. I just shoved my fingers into it anyhow, so. Oh my god. Donovan, come get dip. You know what? I'm gonna move camera right here so anybody else over there can enjoy dip and everything. Okay. <clears throat> Jesus fucking Christ, Todd. These, by the way, are reusable silicone uh, baking sheets. I'm using aluminum foil as a surface instead of my counter. Meh. Okay, so to create the skin on the cauliflower, this is one of those situations where I do have to look at my sheet over here to make sure it's like accurate. Okay. Three fourths cup of flour. All right. Look at it. Look at it cross balls. Mmm, very distinguished. Mmm, yes. One fourth cup of water. Basically, the skin is literally just flour and milk and water. But then also we're gonna be adding in all the spices that we want for this breading. It's breading. Uh, so staple in this house garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika, but we're also going to be adding uh, black pepper, because why the fuck not? When it comes to spices, we you know we don't measure. Literally, I like so much paprika that when I create this like skin, I want it to be like red. <laughs> black pepper, just a little bit. Just a little bit, I say, and then it gets everywhere. All right. Let's look at that. I definitely think making the dip first is great so everyone can snack on it while you're getting you ready. Snack on it. Can okay. I get a box? For my can ranch? I get a box for my ranch? Speaking of ranch, that's a great segue. It really is. <laughs> I got you, fam. Oh my god. Okay. So, if you want a vegan thing, there is vegan ranch dressing. And then I had to buy a second bottle because there's also spicy ranch dressing. So, on that note, so not only is there vegan ranch dressing, but there's vegan sour cream, vegan cream cheese, vegan cheese, anything, literally anything. Like, I'm bringing this up because somebody told me, oh, I can't make this recipe for you because it's not vegan. And I asked what it was that's not, and they said it's, nothing happened. <laughs> they said it's the cream cheese. Just, there's vegan cream cheese, just Google it, just Google. It's there. Okay. Anyway, so there's so many vegan substitutes that if you don't eat dick, you can find. I'm done. I couldn't even finish that. I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> Just like he couldn't finish. Oh! My mistake. He did finish. She didn't. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Side note: This is also good for anyone who is lactose intolerant. Mm, yes, lactose intolerant. Uh, unfortunately, gluten. Not a thing here. Because the next step is the breadcrumbs. So, looking up this recipe, if you want to make it gluten free, you can do it without the breadcrumbs. But if you do it that way, this skin is going to slide right off that cauliflower and it's not, it's not going to be like, like she slid off his dick. 
I'm done. <laughs> Unfortunately, Bye. it's not gluten free, but uh, none of these ingredients contain anything with nuts or tree nuts. So if you have a nut allergy, <laughs> shut the fuck up, Todd. So if you have a nut allergy, you're fine. The next part is when it gets messy. So, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> He's pulling his cock out! Hold on, hold on. Wait, I'm pulling my cock out. <laughs> Breadcrumbs. I'm gonna have Todd help me with this next step. Oh. And we'll show you the beginning of it, but then we're gonna cut because this is gonna get real messy real fast. Is that, like, cool enough to sit to the side? So we have our batter here, we've got our cut cauliflower here, we got our breadcrumbs. So with this, I'm going to dump all the breadcrumbs on here. We might need this whole box. So you're going to take your little cauliflower pieces, dump it in the batter, and then roll it in the breadcrumbs. And then you're going to line your cookie sheets with your cauliflower. You don't want it to like overlay each other. Like don't double up because then it can't bake all the way. But this is going to get real messy real fast. <laughs> what are you doing? Since we're making two heads, <laughs> <laughs> he has a tiny dick, it's okay. It's the girth that makes Ew! Let's My circumcise this bitch. <laughs> oh, he got an enlargement process. Good for him. <laughs> you can write in it! Wait. <laughs> I was gonna write Larry was here, but okay. <laughs> Todd's writing my name in his dick. We just got lar. Lar. Literally, yeah. Dump that, coat it, and then hang on. Give me this cookie sheet. Oh, it's still warm. Okay. All right, and then dump it, and so that. Oh, I got it. I got it. I'm and fine. so, yeah. So I'm gonna roll it. Oh, I'm gonna be wet. You're gonna be dry. <laughs> yeah. So now this is gonna go in the oven for 25 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so while that's going, uh, I only have two cookie sheets, so I'm gonna fill this. Okay, so I've just got regular golden potatoes. I've taken them out of the bag. I've washed them off. <laughs> Cut off your fingers. Cut off my fingers. You want that for a wedge? Yeah, that works. Okay, I only have two cookie sheets. So I am just gonna fill this glass container with them. So I have... I'm gonna take olive oil, I'm gonna drizzle it over it, you know, who measures. I normally put potatoes in for about half an hour. All right, so I'm gonna keep that in there until the wings come out and then I'll just check it during the next step. For my sauce, I'm gonna be adding, I have selected the Sweet Baby Ray's Sweet and Spicy, thank you. Sweet Baby Ray's Sweet and Spicy barbecue sauce that I'm going to mix with Old Bay hot sauce. So if you are making this yourself, you can make your hot sauce whatever you want it to be. I've just found this combination is like So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna empty the entire bottle. I'm just gonna do a bit at a time because once these come out of the oven and they've cooled down slightly, you coat them in the hot sauce and put them back in for another 20 minutes. I'm just gonna use tongs. I'm gonna dip these in like one at a time. Eh. Honestly, I could dump a bunch in and then mix it around. Oh. Oh my god, back up. Go, go. So these are the cauliflower wings that have been baked with breaded and now covered in hot sauce. So now they're gonna go back in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. I check the potato wedges that are down there. I try to stab them with the fork to see if they're like squishy. They're not yet. So they're probably gonna be in for the same amount of time as these wings are in. I don't know exactly when the potatoes should come out, but I wanna go ahead and put cheese on them. There's the sauce, anymore. it's under the cheese. Oh, I swear I mean, to God. I said that wrong. Where's the cheese? It's under the, it's sauce. Under the sauce. But where's the potatoes? It's under the cheese. They're gonna be going back in the oven for that amount of time. Those looks, the wings look so fucking good. And they smell so they good. They smell amazing. Oh my God. Nope, zoom. Ave Maria. Open up the safe, bitches got a lot to say. Cool. <gasps> There's a cat! Get away! Oh. oh my god. Okay. Let's get the camera close on those. Oh, I zoomed in already. Wait. So that is the cauliflower wings and the potato wedges, and we've eaten the 
Spinach artichoke dip. You got that corner left. That corner. We're gonna we're gonna fucking eat that. Woo! This has been a vegan game day. So so final thoughts. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Uh. I was gonna could do a combination of let's eat, and then I thought about a meme of Chica from Five Nights where her bib said let's yiff. Oh god, please let's not. Let's yiff. Wings. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Wings. Wings.